I know Independence Day is kind of an old movie, but I think that it is an amazing piece of media. It starts off slow. Uh, there's a scene where you see Will Smith kind of getting up out of the bed and you know trying to inch his way up, and his wife is just there, kind of going around, you know, like a normal day. The kids running around the place, and he goes outside and says, "Oh, look, I'm shooting the alien, Daddy!" And then you know Will Smith and his wife come out, and they see the big thing hovering over there, and it's it's crazy. But it was awesome. I remember watching this movie back when I was, uh, I think I was around maybe 12 years old when it came out. I think it was like 1997 or 1998, around the same time that StarCraft came out. It's really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, and then what else happens after that? Uh, Steve Goldblum or Goldberg? I'm not sure what his name is. But he was in there with this Will Smith character. And uh, you kind of see all the cities getting destroyed. There's one particular scene that I think was very entertaining uh, when all these these entertainers let's call them uh, they went up to the the roof of this building in New York City and they thought that the aliens were going to be friendly and happy and they're going to get all of these uh, wonderful gifts or they're gonna get blessed by the aliens I don't know what they're thinking but they're holding up these signs and then eventually the the spaceship opened up and lit up everybody there on the rooftop and then this laser just comes down and psh, oh completely destroys that that building like it's paper like it's nothing and then it, it proceeds to just destroy the the rest of the city now that i think about it it's not new york it was uh it was la or san francisco somewhere in california that that happened but uh yeah this huge explosion completely obliterated the whole city and then you see Will Smith's wife there in the tunnel. Somehow she outran the explosion. And uh, she, she found cover in the, in the tunnel there with the dog and, and her kid. And somehow she survived that. I mean, unreal, but funny. The next scene was New York. Yeah, the next scene was New York after that with... Um, with this guy David, he was he was in the, the news center there with uh, with Goldberg, Goldblum, and he was complaining about his mother. I was going to get it to his mother, whatever. He was in New York in a traffic jam. Same thing, big explosion, and a fire truck comes and smashes his vehicle, completely destroyed. It's pretty funny. Now, I, I'm not, you know, I don't want people to get hurt in real life, but. You know, seeing it on, on TV, it's, it's entertaining, and I don't know why, it's, it's, it's human nature. Uh, so then after that, uh, you know, everyone's trying to, like, get together and figure out, you know, how are we going to defeat these aliens? How are we going to, 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 to get through this and, and, you know, make this work? So it's, they send these fighter jets to, to fight the aliens, and they send these nuclear bombs to go and kind of destroy the ships, but nothing ever happens. You know, we end up destroying our own cities more and more, ruining our, our planet. And the ships are just there, they're just hanging out. So eventually, Will Smith and this Gold Moon guy, right? What they do is they go into uh, this, this, uh, this Area 51 place. And then they, they talk to the alien. The alien hooks up to this guy and that goes up to the, to, to, to the window and kind of communicates with uh, the other people in English. And the aliens just want us to all die. So... That's not too good. But after that point, uh, moving forward, the, the, Steve Goblin with Windows 3.1 or Windows 95, he, he comes up with this computer virus. And this computer virus, uh, you know, somehow destroys the aliens. He, he goes up there with Will Smith in, in one of their little alien ships. They go up into the mothership and, and they, they figure out how to go in there and, I don't know, put a virus in there and... and and destroy the whole thing, it's, it's a whole mess. They barely make it out. And I don't know how they go from orbit back into the atmosphere of the Earth without burning up. Well, it's alien technology, so whatever. Uh, a lot of plot holes in the movie, but it's still very enjoyable. Uh, you know, and then, then from there, they, uh, the, 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 the motherships or the auxiliary motherships that are kind of floating around the, the Earth, they kind of fall down and, and you know, they, they kind of like destroy themselves or whatever, they, they collapse. 
And then I guess the main ship that's orbiting there in space, you kind of just go away and, and that's it. Uh, you know, and then at the end of the movie, everyone's there, just look, looking at the ships fall down into the, into the desert. Hey, we did a good job. Hey, we did a good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone's happy, so uh, good, I guess. But, you know, throughout the whole movie, it's a very good experience. It came out in 1997. You know, I'm making this video as of 2019. But uh, yeah, really, really good, really good experience. I, you know, if if you're if you were born after '97, or if you've never seen the original Independence Day, I highly recommend that you see it. Uh, you know, it's it's still pretty good. Uh, we haven't seen a, a movie like that in a long time, and, and I hope they they make something like that again soon. Independence Day Two. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I mean, how how do you have a ship that's like a, a a third, maybe a quarter or a fifth the size of the planet, you know, I mean, how do you outrun that? that, that I, don't, I don't get it. It's like the physics don't make any sense. It's like, this is the Earth, and then the ship is like this big, and then, and then you see like Goldblum kind of outrun that. That's just impossible. You know, like, you know, a trip from Miami to London is like eight hours, and, and that, I think that's about how long the thing is. I don't know. But, I'll do another review on Independence Day 2. Anyway, out of a, uh, from a 1 to a 10, I'll give this movie a, a solid 7.5. I'd give it a 7.5. So, pretty good. I, I recommend it. If you haven't seen it, you really need to see it. Uh, good movie to put in your collection. Good movie to share with family and friends. So do yourself a favor. Rent it or, or get it on Amazon or whatever. And enjoy it. Alright? Okay. Well, hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.